How are you, Michael? Okay. Relatively speaking. I'd offer you a cup of coffee, but I've just got comfortable. How's your dad? Is he enjoying his retirement? Very much so. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Tell him I was asking. Well, I suppose we should get started. Yes. I've brought the latest version. Dated 2014. I take it there's to be an amendment. Yes. I would like to leave a monetary gift to someone. Of course. Without the other people named in the will knowing. Is that possible? It's a little unusual, but it can be done. It's called a secret trust. You create the trust, but the beneficiary has to know about it in order for them to access it either straight after your death or when they turn of age. Okay, well, it would be for the latter then. It's for a boy aged nine, I think. He's the son of a former student of mine who committed suicide. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Painting is a lonely profession and cruel. Sometimes it can be soul destroying. Were you too close? Unconsciously, maybe. Maybe I wanted there to be something more. Middle-aged painters, they envy beauty and yearn for a lost youth. Unfortunately, they tend to punish the more talented. I think I was obsessed by this student. And jealous of their talent. <laughs> I just should have nurtured that talent. Instead, I... Anyway... I know I can help their child. They are, de they are deserving of it. My family... My family, they're only interested because they know I have money to leave. They're swarming now. I'll need his name and... Any contact information you have for his mother, take it she's still alive? Yes, I'm certain of that, yes. Listen, Philip, I appreciate your help with this. I've had a lot of time to think lately. And well, this is what I have decided to do. Whether it's to soothe the conscience of a dying man, I... I'm no one's judge, Michael. But I'm sure the child will be very grateful of the gift you leave him. I'll have the paperwork drawn up as soon as possible. Thank you, Philip. I appreciate that. 